Hello, happy Monday. It's Natalie, the dear hairdresser, coming in to make a video and speak to you all. Uh, I've been feeling better. Um, my life is full of ups and downs, so people that pay attention to my videos and me in general probably know this about me. Um, after my last video, I received a lot of support, and that is very helpful to me, and I really appreciate that because making these videos uh, a long time ago for me was part of my healing process for me. I had been through a lot and I had had my brain kind of manipulated and so I needed to start making something concrete that I could go back and watch if I needed to so that I would know that my feelings at that moment were what they were and that they were kind of justified and that I could start to piece together a lot of my emotional and physical world it was very helpful for me. I'm getting to a place where I feel like all of that effort paid off and um, I'm wondering if, you know, we need to go over what the secret to being able to persevere and, and get through life and its hardships is um, because everyone I know is going through hard times and hard times are guaranteed with um, with living. There's never going to be a life where you're not going to have problems and as soon as you fix the problems that you have, you're going to get a new set of them. So what you need to do is train your brain to embrace these as challenges. Um, and the key word is something called resilience. Um, when my daughter was in Head Start, um, I got the opportunity to work with the director and um, talk to parents a little bit about social and emotional health. And so she gave me this fun little book, and I think most of the Head Start parents got it. And you know what, I just want to let you know, if we're trying to teach children resilience as a fundamental skill, then that's a good thing. But I was reading through this book, and I think there's a lot of things that adults could probably use for, from this book, too. I have a lot of thoughts today, so I get jumbled. Thank you for staying along and listening. I was going to read to you, per this little book, what the definition of resilience is. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend. What is resilience? You might know people who have faced hardships in life. Maybe you, maybe others, maybe yours are coming. They probably are, sorry, pay attention. They might have to cope with job loss or a family member being away on military service. Many people have trouble coping, but some people are able to bounce back. This is called resilience. Let me add, the ability to bounce back doesn't have to do with your circumstances as much as it does your mindset and the tools and the, the things you've put in place around you for support. Here we go. Resilient people have protective factors that help them succeed and carry on, even when times are tough. Protective factors can include having loving family members, good friends, strong religious beliefs, and determination. I believe determination is one of the biggest, biggest things that you need to have. And one of my mantras that I have been using, because I do use affirmations a lot, I do a lot of tricks to trick my brain. Um, talking positively is one of them, making sure that I choose very positive words and I say them out loud. Um, I take drives around, you know, my town. I just got back from a, a positive affirmation drive <clears throat> where I was basically, you know, in my own car alone, kind of like calling out these things. Um, back to the point. One of my biggest affirmations that I have said to myself for so long is um, just keep going, just keep going or just show up, you know, just show up. Okay, maybe we could like take time to go through this, but we'll do it slowly. Um, and we can talk about some of those protective factors that we can start to get in place for ourselves um, so that when you need to push forward and be like, ah, okay, just keep going, then you know where to look if you get a little bit lost. All right. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for paying attention. I hope you found some value here. I find value in this, sh this share here. So, okay.